Hey everyone! Welcome to a new compilation of the best trolls incidents of 2023. Let's begin. Oh boy, today is the day. Did you buy a gift? Oh I forgot all about it. Let me help you get one. Troll Tutorial, How to Get Ready for Your Friend's Birthday Party Step 1, Get to a Cool Clothing Store Step 2, Enter the Store Step 3, Pick an Appropriate Outfit for Your Friend's Birthday Party Hmm. Too goofy. Doesn't match the vibe. No comments. This one is good. Good, now let's buy a thoughtful gift for your friend that will make him happy. Step 4, head to the gift store to buy a gift. Hmm, what should I buy for him? How about something useful? No we are not doing that. I don't see how that could be used. Can't you just pick something normal for your friend? Okay wait. He likes boxing. I'll get these gloves for him. Finally, now we can move on from this. Let's go. Step 5, head to your friend's birthday party. Hi, I'm here to attend Jimmy's birthday party. Okay but don't make a lot of noise. Don't worry about that. Alright, get in. Hey happy birthday man. Thanks man. Step 6, present your gift to your friend. Hey, I have this gift for you. Damn, these will come in handy. Thanks so much Al. No problems. Let me put this away along with other gifts. Step 7, enjoy yourself at the party. Step 8, it's late night so you decide to have a sleepover. When will you be back home? Mom I'm staying over. Take care of yourself there, and go to sleep on time. Okay mom. Step 9, decide to tell stories to each other before going to bed to sleep. There is an ancient spirit that lurks amidst the hearts of men. It only has one objective, to torment its prey as much as possible. It shows up in your dreams, and corrupts them. Once it has you in its grip, you will never have a good dream, and it won't stop until you are brain dead. Okay that's just stupid. Like anyone will find this scary. Is it real? Like it's a real story? I don't know, I just heard it. Alright. Let's go to sleep now. Alright. Step 10, go to sleep now. What a strange place. Step 11, keep walking. Step 12, see something from afar. 
Hey! Step 13. Notice that it is not human. Step 14. Run for your life. Step 15. You try to run, but your body won't move. What the hell? Why are you ruining my sleep? Did a bed bug bite you? I had a very scary dream. What? That's why you screamed? I shouldn't have told you this story. That's alright. Okay, I'm going to sleep again. Step 16. You are scared. Decide to stay awake the whole night. Step 17. Go back home. Hey, did you have a fun party? Yeah, I did. Wait, why do you look so wasted? Well, I didn't sleep all night. I told you to go to sleep early. Step 18. Go to your room and have a nap. Hey, anybody in here? Step 19. Hear footsteps. Step 20. Walk in the direction of the footsteps. Step 21. Meet him again. Welcome to my world. Your soul is mine for the taking. Step 22. Prepare to be. I can't sleep like this. Afraid of a little nightmare? It's ruining my life. Step 23. Get an idea. Step 24. Search online on how to have a lucid dream. Step 25. Learn all the steps to lucid dreaming. It's my time to shine. Step 26, sleep well knowing that you are going to turn the tables. What a scary place. Wait, I control this now. Step 27, have fun in your dreams. Ha, ah, about time you showed up. Step 28. Attack your tormentor. How do you like that? Step 29. Mission accomplished. Now go back to the real world. Step 30. Notice that you can't move. Why can't I move? I can't move a nerve. Thanks to you, I was able to come to the real world. Your soul is mine now. From now on, you can't move. Your body will be stuck in place. You will still be able to feel, hear, and see everything. Step 31. Accept your fate.
17. Prepare to get your soul consumed. Wait, stop. Bro, that was crazy. I can't believe we wiped out their whole squad. If we keep winning, we might turn professional gamers one day. We definitely can. By the way, did you do your homework? <laughs> what? We had homework? Dude, you're done for. Dr. Troll will butcher you. It's alright I have nothing to worry about. What's the worst that can happen? Josh you have disappointed me yet again. This is the fifth time you haven't submitted your homework. Biology is very important and you need to pay attention to what projects I assign you. If you carry on acting like this, I would have no choice but to fail you. To punish you, I will give you the lowest score possible. Enjoy repeating the same grade. I'm sorry sir. Sorry will not save you, show me some actual effort into your studies. Hey, how was school? Not good. I'm tired. I need some rest. What got into him? No idea. <sighs> Where's my narrator? You asked me for me? About time you showed up. I only show up when you need help with basic tasks. If I don't do something about my grades, Dr. Trollo will definitely fail me. I don't want that to happen. All my friends will be in the next grade and I'll have to repeat the same class. Is that so? Well, I can show you how you can get on your teacher's good side. You do? Yes, just follow my steps. Troll Tutorial How to Gain Your Teacher's Admiration and Respect Step 1. Give him a gift so he knows that you appreciate him teaching you. What are you doing? I am making a brownie for him. Do you even know how to make a brownie? Well kind of. That's not enough. Troll tutorial. How to make a brownie. Hey shut up I don't have that much time. Well okay then. So you take some baking soda and flour. Um then you mix in some cocoa pods. I think you first need to extract the chocolate from those pods. Too bad bro. Now some milk and a bit of butter. Bro you threw in the whole brick. Psych. And now let's put it in the oven. It's done. This actually makes your school canteen food look appetizing. It's fine. What's the worst that can happen? Step 2. Present your teacher your gift. Hey sir I got something for you. I made it myself. Really? Well thank you. Let me give this a taste test. What the hell? This tastes like absolute garbage. This tastes like a used flip flop covered in bitter chocolate and overbaked in the oven. I'd rather drink a whole gallon of pink sauce than eat this atrocity. You not only suck in biology but also in cooking. May God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> I can't believe that didn't work. I told you to follow proper instructions before attempting to cook. It was a bad idea. Well you tried your hand at something that you suck at. Instead, why not try something anyone can easily do? Really? Like what? 
So here's what you can do. Step 3. See if your teacher is in need of help. Step 4. This is your chance. Help him start his car. Hey teacher. Need some help? Yes my car doesn't start. Can you give it a slight push? Step 5. Give the car a push. Wait, stop pushing. The car has already started. Ah, uh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Get the hell away from me before I am forced to get you expelled. Sometimes I wish I was never assigned to you. However, not all hope is lost. Your teacher is angry with you because you don't pay attention to your studies. If you start paying attention, maybe he won't treat you so poorly. So what do I need to do? Work on your science experiment and surprise him with good results. You're right. This will work. Step 6. Head to the school science lab. Step 7. Gather apparatus for your science experiment. Wait, I am missing some important instruments. Step 8. Look for the missing instruments. Step 9. Instruments are nowhere to be found. Step 10. Notice a strange trap door. Hmm, maybe I'll find the instruments down there. This is where they probably keep all the stuff they couldn't fit in the lab. Step 11. Go down the trap door. Step 12. This place seems oddly familiar. Wait what is this? I am in the school hallway. How is that possible? The hallway is supposed to be above me. Step 13. Continue exploring the basement. Step 14. Notice that this is your class. This can't be. This is impossible. Where the hell am I? What is this place? Step 15. Notice a weird presence around you. I should just leave now. Step 16. Run for your life. Step 17. Prepare to get your soul consumed. Wait, stop. Step 18. You are saved by an unknown person. How did you manage to slip into this reality? Where am I? This is the alter reality. It exists in parallel to your world. Basically, in this reality, there's a corrupted version of everything that exists in your world. This place is inhabited by these eldritch entities. People sometimes slip into this reality using secret doors. I am a watcher who's supposed to guard these doors. I didn't realize you had accessed that basement trap door before it was too late. Well that's a lot to digest. Let me accompany you back to your world. You removed all his memories regarding this event, right? Don't worry, he does not remember anything regarding the basement. Good. But the entities now know about that door. They can access dimension number 808 any moment. I had expected that. We need to alert all our enforcers.
Boy, I'm so bored. Why don't we do something after school? Like what? Um, why don't we prank call people again? Call who? I actually have a list of numbers we can call. Trust me that will be fun. Alright let's go. Troll tutorial. How to let epically troll people on phone. Step 1. Wait for your class to end. Step 2. Go to your nearest pay phone. Step 3. Get your list of numbers to call. We can call this person. Dude, that's not cool. This is unethical, that person is probably worried about his son. Grow some balls mate. You can't be a part of our group if you're going to act like a whim. Enough chattering, let me troll this person now. Step 4, dial the number. Who's calling? It's me dad. Jack, is it you? Yes it's me dad. I miss you. My son, where are you? I'm rocking. <laughs> that was so funny, bro. Ah, uh -huh, right. Do you have more numbers we can call? Yes, here you go. What's that? It's another one I found from a missing poster. I lost the poster, but luckily I still remembered the number. Right. Bro, it's my turn. Let me call now. All right, have at it. Step 6, no one's picking up the phone. What the hell? You know, just leave it. Let's go home. It's a bad idea. What are you talking about? Wait, someone picked up. Step 7, no one is answering. Hello? Someone there? 14th of April, 2030. 7.40 p.m. You will die. What the hell? What was that? We got trolled by someone. Yeah. Let's just go home. Step 8. Go back home. Step 9, pick up the phone. Get to the hospital ASAP. It's Nolan. What happened to him? He met with an accident. Step 10, hurry to the hospital. How did this happen? An incoming car hit him. He died on impact. We could do nothing to save him. I hope the driver suffers a lifetime in prison. Oh actually. The onlookers say that your friend stood right in the middle of the traffic. It's as if he was petrified. The police already think that your friend didn't want to live. That's impossible. I knew Nolan. I know he can never do something like that. Well, this is what transpired. We can't change the past now, can we? We understand. Step 11. Attend your friend's funeral. Do you think that the number had anything to do with it? Number? You mean the number we dialed? Yes, I think we made a mistake calling that number. Don't be ridiculous. How can a new? That's my phone. That's the same number we called. Don't pick up. Bro, I have to know what's up. Hello? Who's this? Were you the one behind Nolan's death? 16th of April, 2.10pm. You will die. Who is this? Give me the phone. Hey! Who's this? Why are you messing with us? This is not funny. Stop your sick joke at once. Dude, I'm scared. I am going to stay with you. Nothing will happen to you. Bro, it's only 10 minutes before the clock strikes to 10 p.m. Don't worry, I am right here. I am hungry. Let me make something. You shouldn't have left him alone. It's alright. I'm right here. If anyone breaks in, I'm ready. 
But your friend wasn't killed by anyone. He met with an accident. What if something similar happens to him? Step 12. Make sure your friend is safe. Step 13, you failed. Step 14, go home. What? How did you get my number? Okay. That's weird. Hey dude, there's a call for you. Step 15, run. die. Please tell me. You will die by gunshot. Step 16. Isolate yourself from all sort of danger. Step 17, see who's at the door. It's me. Step 18, let him in. What have you done to yourself? I don't want to suffer the same fast as those two. Everyone is worried about you. I know. What are you doing? I always wanted to get rid of you. Right from the moment you started dating my ex. I found that cursed number and wanted you to dial it. But you gave the receiver to Nolan. I thought I had failed. But then I realized we all got cursed. I received a call as well. The only way to survive the curse is to kill the one who's already been chosen by the number. How can I pass this opportunity to finish you? What? Why are you still calling me? I already did it on your behalf. You did it too, sir. What are you saying? I finished him right at 440. It's not 440. Check your watch. His clock was 20 minutes ahead of real time. I oh, know. You will die. In 3, 2, Stop. 1.
Step 1, get back from work. Honey, I'm home. You're home early. Yeah, not much work in the office today. Good, I have made something special for dinner today. Oh, really? Looking forward to it. Go and change. All right. Step 2. Change into something comfortable. Step 3. Change your clothing. Son, you there? Son? Jimmy, what are you doing with that knife? Put it down. Sorry, Dad. I was just playing. Put that thing away before you hurt yourself. Hey, I'm preparing dinner. Will you give these meds to mom? I'd appreciate that. Okay. Step 4. Give your mother-in-law her medicine. Hey, are you in there? Are you sleeping? All right, I am coming. Step 5. Get in the room. Hey, how are you today? I got your medicine? I'm okay. I'm just gonna leave these here then. Step 6. Have dinner with your family. Splendid. The dinner is quite spectacular. What the hell? <coughs> Step 7. Notice something weird. Oh, how did those get there? Hehe. <laughs> you? You did this? What is wrong with you? What kind of prank is this? Seriously, what kind of prank was that? This is not normal for any kid. He is young. He will come around. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. Lots of work tomorrow. Good night. Step 8. You are thirsty. Get some water. Oh crap. Oh it's you. Scared the crap out of me. You alright? Want something? Okay, I'll just leave I suppose. Step 9. Take a shower and go to your office. Hi, honey. Hey, don't you think your mother is acting weird these days? Is she really doing that? Yes. Gives me the creeps. Don't talk that way about my mother. <sighs> Sorry about that. I am stressed out these days. IT's all right. Step 10. Leave for your office.
The hell? Who did this? Jimmy. Jimmy, did you puncture my car tires? Wait. What is all this? He's back again. Good. He's been unconscious for five days now. Try to calm him. I will talk with Dr. Myers. Any luck? He keeps going into a coma. I also think he has begun to hallucinate. I won't be keeping him here any longer. Will sending this dude to lock up be the right decision? He killed his whole family with an axe, he must be punished. I'll make sure of it. Wanna get out of here? Who are you? I will help you get out of this. In exchange, you have to help me kill someone. Kill who? You will know very soon. Tell me, yes or no? Alright. Follow my lead. Control tutorial, how to escape your mental ward. Step 1, strangle the policeman. Step 2, escape. Is this the place? Yes. Step three, end of the party. You, who are you? You don't look like a guy who would be invited to this. Are you deaf? Stay there or else I will break every bone in your body. Step four, kill the bouncer. Step five. Dump his body in the trash. <coughs> Step 6, enter the party. Man, I'm going out. I need a breath of fresh air. Okay, don't take long. You again? I'm not. Pretty good, not bad for a pirated bootleg game. The hell?
Step 7. Congrats. Now leave. Oh my god, this is horrible. Troll Tutorial, How to Find Your Lost Friend Step 1, go to the place where your friend went missing. Step 2, reminisce about the memories you made with your friend here. Hey I was thinking about going to that place. You mean the place where we hung out as kids? Yes, I miss the peaceful times. Those were the days. We will feel good there. Hmm. Unfortunately I will be busy with my office work. I can't come with you. What? Can't you take just a little time off? That's not possible. I have too much work to do. Alright I guess. I will go on my own then. <sighs> Only if I went with you that day. You might have never gone missing. Step 3. Spread the missing posters everywhere. Hey have you seen this person? He went missing at this place one week ago. No. I'm very sorry to hear that. I hope you find him. It's alright. Step 4. Be disappointed. Step 5. Go back to meet your friend's father. Any luck so far? Sadly no. In fact, Someone just prank called me pretending to be Jack. It's as if people have no empathy today. That's disgusting. I am trying my best to find Jack. Don't worry, I won't rest until I find out where he went. Thank you for everything you are doing Peter. Jack is my friend, I will do anything for him. Step 6, slowly fall asleep. Step 7, you can't pay attention to your work due to what happened. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Step 8, receive a call. Hey, Peter the first just received a call from a person who claims to know the whereabouts of Jack. Really? Yes, I am going to meet him. No it's fine. I will meet him. Step 9, meet the person. Are you the dude who has info on Jack? Yes. Where did you last see Jack? I remember him being taken away by two people into the sewers. The sewers? Yes. The ones close to this park. That's why I called you here. Alright thanks. Step 10. Explore the sewer system. Man, man, man the smell the is smell killing is me. Killing. Step 11, notice something.
This is Jack's hat. He must be close. Step 12. Keep moving forward. Step 13. See a gate. No way. Is there something ahead? Step 14. Get inside the gate. Step 15. Get a weird feeling. Hey, let us out. Please, don't want to stay here. Please help me. Who put you there? They will come back. Be quick. Step 16. Find your friend. Oh my god, this is horrible. Step 17. Come across your friend. Jack. Peter? How did you get here? Forget about it. What is this place? I don't know. All I know is that these people are up to no good. I witnessed a kidnapping. They noticed me and dragged me here with the person. They killed the poor man in front of me. These animals even took my leg. I'm gonna get you out of here. Let me break these chains. No, that will make noise. To unlock the chains, you need a key. Only the guards have it. Quickly. Hide. We found a buyer for you. You should be happy that someone is willing to pay so much even after losing your leg. You two escape as well. You guys think you can escape just like that? A huge human trafficking ring has just been uncovered thanks to two young men. The ring kidnapped people and supplied them to Red Room videos as well as some restaurants that served human meat to wealthy buyers. The police informed us that there are more of these trafficking rings spread out in the city. Currently, the leader of the ring, Trollis, is still out there. Step 1, play games on your PC. <laughs> Step 2, get bored of playing the same game. Man, I wonder if they got any new addition to this. Step 3, go to the game store to buy more games. So you're awake. 
Hey mom. You finally came out of your room. That's a surprise. I am going out mom. Don't you want lunch? No, I am fine. Bye mom. Step 4. Look for new games. Step 5. Find the latest version of your favorite game. This will do. How much is it? One hundred dollars. What? Yes. All right, wait, I will be back with money. Step 6, go back home. Damn, it is indeed very expensive. I should ask my mom for the money. You sure? Yes. Well, don't say that I didn't warn you. Oh, come on, how bad can it be? No, I said no. Why don't you understand? Your grades are going down the drain. You need to be paying more attention to your studies instead of buying more games. I'm not giving you any more money. That's my final decision. But mom. No. All right. Step 7. Go back to your room. Told you. But I want that game. Maybe if you paid attention to your studies, you will get her to buy you that game. No, I want it now. What are you planning? I am going to steal it. That's wrong. You should just wait. It's fine, I will pay her back later. Stay still. Just do it. Okay. I did it. Time to leave. I am dead. Thank God, I was sure she would wake up from that scream. Luck is on my side it seems. Oh no. Well, that went horribly wrong. What did I tell you? I am not giving up. What are you going to do now? Hmm. Wait, idea. What? I should try pirating that game. Step 8. Look for a pirate site for the game you are looking for. Step 9, come across a site. Hmm, that's pretty common with pirated content. Nothing to worry about. What's up with all these warnings? You're making a mistake. Oh come on, how bad can it be? Step 10, install the game and start playing. Hell yeah this game is so much fun.
What the hell is he doing? Hey, would you not get off? Turn that thing off and go to sleep. Alright mom. Step 11, see weird glitches on the screen. The hell is this? Step 12, see a strange message. The hell? What is this even? Some kind of joke? Step 13, ignore it and go to sleep. Man, I'm thirsty. Step 14. See a strange figure. Two. Who are you? Six days. Make good use of your time. Step 15. Wonder what to do. Step 16. Try to delete the file. What the hell? I can't delete this thing. Maybe you should ask for help. Step 17. Ask your friend for help. Hey James, how are you? Forget about it, I need your help. I'm all ears bro. Okay so, I have this virus. Hello? You were saying? Foolish kid. You're not allowed to talk about this to anyone. Now you only have five days left to live. Hello? What happened? Nothing. I will call you later. Okay. <sighs> now what? Maybe I can still escape. How? There must be some info on this curse. Maybe others have had it too. Step 18. Search online about this curse. Step 19. Come across an article. The back-to-back -back deaths of four friends have horrified the residents of Troll County. According to the friends of the deceased, the four friends invoked a curse by calling an unknown number. The number gave them a few days to live and and took their lives when their time was up. According to rumors, the only way to beat the curse is by transferring it to another or killing the one who's already been cursed. While the curse is mostly invoked by calling the cursed number, there might be other mediums to get cursed, such as computer programs. Maybe I can escape this after all. All that's left to do is find the right scapegoat to transfer the curse to. Step 20. Plan your next move.
Hey you ugly looking goofy idiot, when will you give me my money back? Cash I swear I'm going to call Mr. Pinner if you don't stop. What was that? You got a death wish mate. Oh James, haven't seen you in a while. I hope you did my homework. I did, it's in this USB drive. USB? Alright. Keep serving me like this and I will always protect you from myself. Did you really need to stand up to Cash? I just didn't want any trouble. That's all. Coward. Whatever. Let's see how that dumbass did. A game? That sounds neat. Saved. Step 21, you are now safe. Damn this game is fun. What the hell? Nothing happened? Where did he go? this one
you expect me to believe in this? Well, when have I ever talked without proof? So you're telling me you have evidence to support your claim? As a matter of fact, I do. So tell me again, what causes these incidents you speak of? I have a theory. I believe that every troll face is born with two distinct personalities, unlike Dirk and other race. One is him, but the other, the other, is the narrator. The narrator guides the troll face through his basic tasks in a form of steps. The narrator appears to be omniscient but only knows as much as the troll face. I have a reason to believe that sometimes, this narrator becomes... I am glad that you're finally spending time with us. Well luckily my boss didn't stop me from taking a week off. I appreciate you being with us. Hey are you okay? Yeah yeah I am. Sorry I zoned out for a while. Hmm, you look tired. Yeah, I think so. Let's just go home then. Alright. Hey Tyler, we're going home now, come on. Okay, Mom. Need some help? What? Who? It's alright. It's just me. You again? Why don't you leave me alone? That is simply not possible. We occupy the same body. Who allowed you to stay here? You are ruining my life. I can't focus on my work due to these voices. Well, if you wish I can help you get of these voices. Really? Yeah my job was to help you achieve your goals even if it's against my existence. Alright, I will trust you for this once. Troll Tutorial How to make the voices go away Step 1, look for a licensed psychiatrist in your area. Step 2, book an appointment with the psychiatrist. With this, I'll hopefully be free. Step 3, head to the psychiatrist. Step 4, you have arrived, go and meet the psychiatrist. Hi, I'm Trollson. I have an appointment with Dr. Fabio. Right sir, I see you booking. Just wait 30 minutes, Dr. Fabio will call you. Step 5, wait for your turn. Sir, Dr. Fabio will now see you. Alright. Step 6, time to meet the psychiatrist. So, what's your issue? I am hearing these voices all the time. They are quite intrusive. I can't pay attention to anything. In the beginning, they were quite benign. But now, these voices are telling me to commit these violent acts that I can never imagine myself doing. Hum. That's actually interesting because I've met many troll faces in my life with the same problem as you. Looks like this sort of problem is more common among your kind. What does that mean? Well. I got these bills for you. They should help you. If these don't work, then you can meet me again. Thank you. Step 7, go back home. Step 8, take the pills. <laughs> Step 9. You took the pills, now wait f Wait, it actually worked. The voices are now gone. Step 10, wake up now, it's day. Wait, you're back already. Step 11, go to your work. I guess I'll bear it for another day.
Hey dude, boss is asking for you. Boss? Why? Well it's something about you zoning out at work. Boss you asked for me? Yes, I am tired of you not paying attention to your work. Do you know how long it took me to start this company? I can't deal with people like you running it to the ground. You are fired. Look what you just did. Do you still blame me? You've already seen how this world acts like to people like you. Step 12, go back home. Hey, how was your day? Not good, I need some time alone. Step 13, your head hurts. Time to take another pill. Step 14, you are going insane, give up, abandon all hope. Hey dad, wait, dad? Hey honey, did you see Tyler? Why? What did you just do? Where am I? You're in the basement. Abandon all hope. So, which one of these tools should I use? This one? Or perhaps this one? Drop your weapon. Now. Alright, I'm asking you for the last time. Why did you kill your child? I was just partaking in a bit of trolling. Trolling? You killed your son. You nearly did the same to your wife. The weak shall perish. Um, I don't have anything else to ask. Take him away. What's even happening? Keep quiet. Someone is outside the door. Step 19. Hear it. Did it go away? I think so. Damn, what day is today? Shouldn't have slept that late last night. Hey, come have breakfast with us. You're getting skinny day by day. Okay, mother. Damn, these pancakes are good. Are you forgetting something? Like what? That you and your friends are supposed to go on a camping trip together. And you are late. Oh no, I almost forgot. Troll tutorial. How to go on a camping trip with your friends. Step 1, run to the spot. Bye I gotta go. Who was he talking to just now? Is he alright? He's acting strange lately. You won't understand.
get up, you don't wanna be late now do you? We're off to a pretty bad start. Step 2, you have reached the spot. What took you so long? We've been waiting for half an hour. Sorry, I woke up late. Anyhow, just get in. We're already too late. Step 3, get in the van. Damn I forgot to pack food cause I was in a hurry. That's alright, I had packed some extra stuff for us. Good job. Step 4, you have reached the campsite. Damn, this place is beautiful. Just like you. Doesn't look all that special to me though. Don't worry, we're gonna have tons of fun in this area. Step 5, explore the site. Let them come, they are walking towards their death. Step 6, get tired of walking. We are walking for one hour already, I am bored out of my mind. Be patient, we will find the right place to set up camp. And then what? What will we do then? What activities can we do here? Seriously, whose idea was it to explore this boring site? We could have gone to Disneyland instead. Oh my god, I love Disneyland. Well trust me you wouldn't want to go there. Why? You haven't heard of the Disneyland incident? No. That's a story for another day then. You boys wait here, I will go check if there's a good camping spot. Take care of yourself. I will. Bro tell me, how is my cologne? Wait, so that's your cologne? And I was wondering where this smell is coming from. Just tell me, is it good? I guess so. Step 7, hear an animal roar. What the hell? That's a bear. We gotta set up camp quickly. No time, he probably sniffed your cologne. Let's find Karen and run. Okay. Step 8, find your friend. Karen. Karen where are you? I'm here. What's up with you guys? We need to hide, a bear is coming in this direction. What? Step 9, be quick. Come on, let's be quick now. Alright. Step 10, see a cabin in the woods. Let's hide there. Let's go. How did you guys manage to get a bear to chase you? It's all due to his perfume. Well I didn't know this was gonna happen. Whatever, we need to stay here until the bear leaves. Step 11, explore the cabin. Hmm someone was here before us. Look at that. I wonder who he was. Let's check his bag. We shouldn't touch someone else's property. Whatever, he's not here. Step 12, check the bag. A torch. A lighter. A pen. A tape recorder. A pair of buckled up shoes. And a diary. Maybe we should read the diary. Step 13, read the diary. Okay let's start. It belongs to someone named Bill. 
I've cornered the beast, the beast will be mine. I will prove to the whole world that it exists. What beast? This was the first entry. Let me read ahead. The beast was very different from what I expected. It is quite clever and it covers its tracks very well. Keep reading. The beast has got to me already, now there is no escape, I won't come out alive. Wow this was weird. Yeah let's just leave now. Step 14, it has started to rain now. The hell? We're not leaving this place anytime soon. Let's wait till the rain goes away then. Man I'm bored. I have an Ouija board that we can play with. An Ouija board? Don't tell me you believe in that stuff. Who cares? It will be a great way to pass time. She's right. We have nothing else to do anyway. Alright I guess. Step 15. Play the Ouija board with your friends. So, how does this work? We need to chant in unison. We also need to put our hands on this planchet. When the spirit will respond to use, it will move this planchet. Hum seems easy. Let's start. Are, Are there, there any spirits, spirits here? here? Can, can you, you hear, hear us? us? Please, Please answer, answer yes, yes if, you if you can, can hear us. us. Step 16. See the planchette moving. What the hell? Did you guys just move it? No I didn't. It wasn't me either bro. Like I will believe you. Okay no one will touch the planchette. If you guys really believe in spirits then let the planchette spell out the name. Okay, hey spirit, tell us what your name is. B. I. L. L. Bill? You mean the bill with the diary? What the hell is this? Is this some trick? Will you appear before us Bill? What the hell are you doing? I want to see what's happening. Hey Bill, show yourself. What the hell? Where is the beast? Step 17. Hear the door breaking. The beast is here. Quickly hide. Step 18. Find a place for hiding. What's even happening? Keep quiet. Someone is outside the door. Step 19. Hear it. Did it go away? I think so. Run. So the beast got to you too? Yes, just like it got your friend. Oh no, not Karen. She didn't even want to be here. Run away if you don't want to meet the same fate. Escape through the window. Step 20. Escape.
F-21. See a car on the road. Hey, stop. Stop the car. Who are you? What are you doing in the middle of the road? I need help. The beast, it will get to me. What beast? Who are you? Don't worry about anything. The area is secure. How can you guarantee that something like this won't happen again? We are going to take the appropriate measures against trespassers.